So hey, how about the movies tonight? I want to do something besides go to the movies tonight. I mean, that's what we always do. Well, like what? I don't know, like, whoa, look, hey, who are you? Yeah, you're like a big, like, Scottish guy. Are you from Lord of the Rings? Hello, Braveheart. Whoa, what's with the sword? I'm the mission man. I'm going on a mission, and I'm looking for men who can fight. Can you fight? I wrestled once in high school. My sister and I used to squabble. Oh, I know you can fight like that. But I'm talking about fighting for what you believe in, for the faith. I'm going on a one-day impact mission. Sounds cool. What's that? It's an opportunity to step outside your stinking selves, to serve another and share your faith. Uh, do I have to wear a kilt? Uh, no, no, that's just for the video. Cool, I'm in. I already told Damien I was going to go to his party. I go on missions and you may miss the party. But how many of us truly live? So dying in your beds, many years from now, you'll be saying, if only I'd made a difference. Would you trade every day, from this day till then, for one chance, just one chance, for Islam! Do I get to use a sword? First, learn to use this. So you're thinking about going on a mission? Good! I'm Tom McCabe. I'll be your guide. So what is a mission? Well, in its simplest terms, it's a trip. You mean like a vacation? No. It's a trip you take with others just like you, with a specific purpose. And that is to put your faith into action. It could be a short trip in your own neighborhood or with your own parish, for example. It might be a longer trip across town or across the country to serve the poor and share the faith. Or it might be a real long trip to some far off place like this, the jungles of Mexico. We have three levels of missions, impact, high impact, and extreme, all increase in their level of intensity, challenge, and spiritual depth. So let's look at an impact mission. So your impact mission will begin somewhere in your local community where you can impact others with the truth and freedom that is found only in God. You'll make a positive difference. Maybe it'll be visiting homes to invite youth back to church. Maybe it'll be hitting the streets with a survey about the faith. Could be running a high energy, fun activity for inner city kids that simply loves them in Christ. Or it could be inviting people to join you in praying Stations of the Cross along a main thoroughfare and soliciting the media to cover it. You decide the impact you want to have. We'll help you with the idea ideas and get you ready. God needs you. God wills for you to be that impact. Will you be? Whoa. This year seems like it's flying by. I know, and it seems like we do the same thing every week. Yeah, I know. Hey, did you hear about Damien's party? You gonna go? Uh, I don't know. Can you hear missions now? Good. I don't know. I want to do something memorable, you know? Yeah, but like what? Frankly, I'm glad I got voted off the island. The missions are calling. I don't know, like helping others or something. But what could you do? I don't know. It'll come to me. M. Missions. M. Hmm. That's weird. Works of mercy for 400, Alex. This experience changes both the lives of those who hear the message, as well as those who share their faith. What are high impact missions, Alex? Wait. Is that the same guy? <laughs> nah. Mission Youth Missionaries hit the streets this week and they were out in full force. The missionaries went door to door inviting people to church and I they wonder ran why activities anyone would for do children. That. Now youth might be asking themselves, why would anyone do this? Well you do this to impact lives, to get the word out about the faith. It's hey, really amazing. That sounds kind of cool. I wonder where you go on one of these on high, high impact, impact missions. You can go just about anywhere, right around your own city or halfway around the world. Some have gone as far as Are Australia you thinking about and going Germany. on one? I think everyone should try at least one high impact Spooky. mission. Spooky. They're it's a life changing like he's experience. He's talking to you know, us. I'm talking to every one of you who is wondering whether to go on a high impact mission. Who? Us? Your mission, should you choose to accept, will begin on Channel 7. Turn there now. Back to you, Jake. Hey, I'm glad you made it. 
Your high impact mission could begin anywhere, anytime, wherever anyone needs a helping hand in the friendship of God, your local community, a neighboring state, or even abroad. Unlike an impact mission, which lasts only a day tops, high impact missions last two to seven days and are usually an overnight adventure beyond your normal environment. For example, we've had missionaries in the Bahamas and as far as the Philippines. We have served as volunteers in the last five International World Youth Day events, and we've hosted hundreds of missionaries in Louisiana to help with Hurricane Katrina relief efforts. Sounds risky? Sure it's risky to share the faith, but as Pope John Paul II said, do not be afraid to go out into the streets to share the faith. Wow, that takes trust. But as Christ has demonstrated to all of us, He is so trustworthy. God wants to give you a challenging and exhilarating experience that you will never forget. Every mission has a story. Your story. Whoa. So did you really have fun? It was so cool. You really should have come. I don't know. So how was your mission? It was so awesome. I went on one too. I met this guy, the mission man. Hello, young people of America, talented, energetic, faithful Catholic kids of any town USA, longing for adventure and to make a difference in the world. I'm the mission man. I'll be your waiter today. Hey, it's you. you. Hey, thanks for setting up our mission. Yeah, I love mine, but is there more? Of course there's more. You're no idiots. You're missionaries now. And darn good ones, I might add. Hey, thanks. So I was wondering, mission man, what are the specials today? If you know what I mean. Can you tell us about your extreme missions? Yeah, working with the poor in Mexico. Yeah, you're tired of the everyday same old, same old routine. You want to go somewhere you've never been before. See new places, meet new people, put your God-given talents into action, and share the precious gift of faith. Right? Sounds awesome. For you senoritas, may I recommend a spicy treat to the mountains of Mexico. Mix in a heaping tablespoon of compassion and top it off with your love of the faith, and you got yourselves a mission. That sounds pretty good, actually. Oh, uh, what's this jungle thing here? Well, for you hombres of valor, try our numero uno platter too, the jungles of Tulum. First you toss in all the energy, sweat, and charity you can muster. It comes with a generous portion of manual labor, topped off with evangelization through sports. Dude, can we supersize that by taking guys from our soccer team? That'd be awesome. To learn more, just check out your menu. Hey. Welcome to your mission. I'm Tom McCabe. I'll be your guide today. Your mission will begin in some remote area, in a country you've probably never been to before. Similar to where we are today, we're in the small town of San Juan, deep in the jungles of the Yucatan Peninsula. It doesn't get more remote than this. It's amazing the adventure Christ wants to take you on. Every mission has a story. Come on, I'll show you. Okay, so check this out. You're on this mission, which is no trip to Disneyland. Essentially, you're on a pilgrimage. You'll be roughing it with friends. Your mission will be extreme because it's longer in duration. The conditions are extreme, often requiring you to sleep on the floors of the people you are serving or eating beans and rice three times a day. There will probably be a humanitarian project associated with your mission. It might be putting up a tin roof to keep the rain out. You also may be laying a cement floor for your newfound friends. Or it might be putting up a church like we're doing today. Keep in mind that while it's good to further their standard of life, it's more important to further them toward eternal life by bringing them closer to Christ. The guys and girls work in separate villages during their missions. We actually find that you really prefer that. After days of hard work, it's time for some needed recreation. What you will see and encounter is absolutely amazing. This trip is not just for those you will serve. It's also for you. Christ wants to teach you something about yourself. You have daily opportunities for personal reflection, confession, and of course, mass. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, will have eternal effects. Christ is extending to you a moment of grace that cannot be relived in this specific way. Remember, you are His hands. You are His feet. If not you, who? If not now, when? Whoa. Um, I'll have what they're having. Excellent choice.